All right, some traders appear to be betting on major gains down the road for oil. Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan, Gina Sanchez with Chantico Global, Bill Baruch with II Trader. Bill, start with you. Uh, a lot of people who've been betting on higher prices have been burned. I mean, oil prices are, are below 50. Uh, production is up. Supplies are up. Why do you think people are betting on oil moving up longer term? And do you think they're going to be right? You know, the, you know, I don't think that the oil is going to go higher for longer quite yet. But I, I do see that people would be taking bets at higher prices and using using different options as a tool to capture price movement. You can you can load up on options way out at very cheap prices. And, and if the market rallies two or three dollars, you have a lot of time frame to capture that movement. So I think that's what we're starting to see people do. Take bets that are farther out and not really taking a, a, an exact time frame that this must happen in. But ultimately, I do think head, oil is heading lower. But right now, the market is a little overdone and it feels like everybody's a little too bearish on it. The one thing that did concern me is after 16 straight weeks of oil production picking up in the lower 48 states, it did fall off. So I'm going to be watching that very closely over the next two weeks. And if, if, if uh, it falls off again, then that could be a trend that could be picking up. Okay, well, Gina Sanchez, there are some people out there voting that it will not fall off. Uh, you know, I wonder because production seems to be going up everywhere around the world, but uh, if demand is going to is going to match that. Well, look, we have seen very weak demand, but I also think that this pickup in production, we could see this coming a mile away. We have seen rig counts rising uh, for the last 20 weeks. If you look at Baker Hughes numbers, they have more than doubled uh, since the beginning of the year. So you can't see the rig counts going up and not expect U.S. production to go up. And while there has certainly been OPEC compliance to the price freezes, let's not forget that those numbers that they froze at are still at all-time highs so we're still pumping a lot of oil out into the market and demand in our opinion is not going to keep up and the estimates that we've seen uh, don't look very rosy either yeah and it's possible if trends continue we will hit 10 million barrels a day in the united states something we did only once for two months back in 1970. gina and bill <laughs> thank you both very much appreciate that folks thank you for tuning into trading nation i'm brian sullivan we'll see you next time Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.